Detective Rachel Steele arrived at the crime scene just as the sun was beginning to set. As she drove up to the idyllic suburban neighborhood of Millbrook Heights, whose tranquility had been shattered by this brutal murder, she could sense the tension in the air. The street was blocked off, and the flashing lights of police cars bounced off the house's windows. As she stepped out of her car, Rachel surveyed the scene before her. It was a large upscale home with a sprawling lawn and sculpted hedges. A shudder ran through her as she saw the large pool of blood on the front porch. The victim's lifeless body lay in a crumpled heap nearby. Rachel approached the body, pulling on her gloves as she knelt down beside him. Her trained eye picked up minute details from the scene. The victim had been stabbed multiple times, and there were defensive wounds on his arms. She could see a bloody handprint on his shirt and a discarded knife a few feet away. As the medical examiner arrived to cart the body off, Rachel took a deep breath and stepped inside the house. The air was thick with the scent of disinfectant and blood. Rachel heard the sound of shuffling feet, and she turned to see the forensic team already at work, dusting for fingerprints and collecting DNA samples. Detective Steele, said a uniformed officer, we found this at the scene. He handed her a smartphone with several deleted messages. Rachel quickly scanned through the messages as her mind immediately started piecing together the story behind the murder. Someone had wanted this man dead, and they had gone to great lengths to cover their tracks. She looked around the house, taking in every detail. The furniture was pristine, and there were no signs of a struggle. Whatever had happened here had been a calculated, precise attack. With her mind buzzing with the details of the crime scene, Rachel stepped outside, eager to get to work on this case. She was determined to find the killer and bring them to justice. As she headed towards her car, she knew that this case would be unlike any other she had ever worked on. 